Here he is. What's your question, Q? Man, listen, peace. Thank you so much to uh, both of you guys. And I don't think I needed that intro, bro. Come on, man. I, I'm not disrespecting anybody. That's not my aim. Neither do I have an agenda. But I will say this. Um, what is your name exactly, sir, so I can respond to you properly? Oh, it's Elton. Elton. Okay, cool. Elton. Nice to meet you, man. My name is Cube. So um, the first question that I that I have for you is do you want do, do you understand that there are black americans who are attempting to appropriate your culture like yes or no do, do you understand that because i have a quick follow-up um yeah i'm sure yeah all right so in and in, in how many native people actually know about these black americans because it's not just black americans there's also white americans that appropriate we, we we've seen it a, a multitude of times but specifically with, with the uh the black americans who are attempting to appropriate your culture how many of you guys that you know of actually know about this going on and what are your thoughts about people who are clearly appropriating your culture um, you know, I guess it's actually what are they appropriating? Are they appropriating our dress? Are they appropriating our ceremonies? You right. know, and then my thing would be, where are they learning this? You know, I think in my earlier conversation, I was saying there are things that are tied to what we wear, to our regalia, to our artifacts, to our, uh, to our ceremonies, our songs. You know, there are reasons why they're sung in certain ways. There are reasons why we gather. Um, and if you're appropriating those things, how are you learning them? Who is teaching you those things? Mm -hmm. And in my world, and as Jay mentioned, he feels like I really have that strong sense of spirituality, which I do. Um, and, and my belief is if you're doing something that is not right with you in the right way, then it's going to affect you. And it's not going to affect you like right now. It's going to affect you in the future. And it's kind of this unexplained thing in Native spirituality. And sometimes my Native friends say, oh, you just tell our non-Natives, oh, it's the magic that's there. And if you're not Native, you don't understand it. And well, if see, you're appropriating that magic, it's going to not be good magic. Well, 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 see, you actually mentioned it earlier when you were speaking, when you were talking about like, the tomahawk, the, the tomahawk chop, mm -hmm. and, and and the wearing of certain regalia. These people wear these things, and they don't even know the history and or the importance behind them. So when I talk about appropriation, I'm talking about that, and I'm also talking about the the stripping of way, the, the, excuse me, the stripping away of you indigenous peoples to then insert themselves, which I don't think is right. So that's what I was trying to ask. Like, how do you feel about that? And and lastly. Before I move on to my next question, lastly, um, how many how many of you natives actually know about this? Is this a concern? Or are, are you guys attempting to look into this and put together some kind of, you know, it, it doesn't have to be a formal council, but I, I would like to see this be combated. And I'll say this and I want you to respond. Because if there were a group of people, no matter who they were, if they were saying that they were the original Black American people, if they were, or if they're saying that they are the original Chinese people, that wouldn't go over well with me nor anybody else. So I, I don't feel comfortable with these people doing it to you guys, knowing what you guys have been through, because we could look at the struggle of the Black man here in America, and we know what we've been through. But at the same time, what are you guys doing to combat it, or is it not really on your radar right now? Um, honestly, I don't think it's really on our radar right now. Um, you know, a lot of the times the work that we do within our communities are through our, um, um, our, our leadership, our, you know, people who guide us. Um, for tribes, we have our own um, presidents, we have our own chiefs, we have our own councils. And so, you know, we give those issues to them to help to facilitate politically, um, socially, you know, we, you know, we know there are people who, you know, appropriate our culture that do dances, that dress in regalia, that do all these things. Um, and also in Europe, I, you know, we see that a lot, but, you know, I think it's, you know, I think it's just, we don't know a lot about these um, instances that people are trying to identify themselves in that way. 
but you know we know that appropriation does happen yeah and that's unfortunate that's, that's very unfortunate and i also have a, a second question because a, a lot of these people who, who attempt to displace and replace you guys a lot of them they really do not like dna so my question to you is because we know when, when you look at dna it's going to tell you exactly who you are so my question is do you utilize DNA or if you don't necessarily utilize it, do you trust DNA to tell you who you are or who you are in, in, in that fashion? Not necessarily. No, no, we don't use DNA. We don't trust DNA. Um, we utilize our, 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 our cultural understandings of who we let in into our memberships um, and our, 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 our clanships were set up for those reasons. Our cultural oh. structures were set up for those reasons. Um, our ceremonies were set up for those reasons. Um, you know, so we don't necessarily use the use the DNA. And just the taking of people's blood by others is not seen as a good thing for us. That you know what? That's a wonderful answer because on the surface, it, it sounds like on the surface, it sounds like you don't trust science. But what you actually said is that we have put these things in place for hundreds of thousands, not hundreds of thousands, but thousands of years to where we don't have to utilize DNA when we already have a, a something in place that actually tells us who we are. So yep. thank you for answering that. I appreciate it because, and the, re the reason I asked that question is because a, a lot of these black people, black Americans who are attempting to, to like I say, uh, uh, replace you guys, they don't want to utilize DNA. And the reason why, because if they did use DNA, it would say that they come from Africa, just like me, just like Renegade J, just like 99.9% .9 of Black Americans. It's going to say that. But what you just said was wonderful because you have structures that have been here since time of memoriam that you don't necessarily need. So yeah. thank you. Thank you so much uh, for answering both of my questions. If I have another one, I will come back up. But thank you. And, and I'm going to tell you, man, it's... Like I, I, I don't get a chance to speak to actual Native Americans often, so so this is wonderful, man. I, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you.